the, the car of Segura, and he was not on the program. But he spoke at a pediatric surgery conference in Santiago, Chile. Now, first of all, you need to know that he, his English is not his first language, and he gave this talk in Spanish. But last night at the dinner, we convinced him to give the talk this morning. It's only 10 minutes, as, and I'm not going to tell you anything more about the talk itself, but appreciate that he was had his arm twisted last night at the dinner to give this talk. And we completely ruined his dinner, because after that he couldn't eat anymore. <laughs> So I remember, his, it was originally given in Spanish, and as of last night, he suddenly found out he's giving a talk here in English this morning. So, uh, so forgive him if anything doesn't go quite right, because he had no notice, and, and uh, so we enjoyed it in Santiago, and so now we hope you'll enjoy it here. It's, a, it's, it's not a scientific talk, talk, although it's got some science in it. So. I hope you enjoy. Wow. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for your fine words. Um, yes, my, my English is not so good, but uh, if you understood the Chinese English, I think you are going to understand my <laughs> Spanish now. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I want to I, I wanna say a brief presentation. This is a, a speech. Uh, in uh, Chile that Patricia Varela asked me in six years after, right? It's, it's, okay, after. So he was very, very uh, worried about my time. He gave me only 10 minutes. He was calling my phone each three days, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. So it's a 10 minutes presentation. <laughs> but when he presented it's me in his speech, he presented all the people all around the world, the speakers, but he didn't mention my name. And also, he gave me an empty ID. So <laughs> it was the reason because I asked him what more meant. So, oh, okay, where was okay? Um, team is Pectus in the Web, Friends, Patients, and Masters. It's me, this is my flag, nothing to disclose. Once upon a time, in a 10 minute story, how I began a fan Pectus. And more of this is a thanks for my masters. This is a story, 10 years ago, I went to Wareham hospital to make my learning curve a minimally invasive curve with Marcella Bailes. Then I met a lot of very friendly people who teach me how to operate on babies. But I met that guy, he's Carlito Freire. It was the first time I hear about the NASBAR. So, by the way, he introduced me to Marcelo Martinez Ferro. He is Chief Marcelo <laughs> in his uh, office room. Then I realized that the NAS bar wasn't a football bar. We say at the bar, the people who say, hooray, 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 <laughs> football. Yeah, this is the, the meaning of bar. So, oh, it, because he's the. So, Horacio Abrams, Horacio Cuesta. Now, Horacio, what is the Horacio, Vignon. He's a very friend of him. Then, Marcelo invited me to see a pectosurity. When I was resident, I was imagining this. I don't want to go there. So, I tried to arrive late. I did it. But, when I arrived, I saw this. Oh my gosh! I said, where's the blood? Where are the bones? Where is the red roof? What happened with this? So then I start to become a fan pectus. Marcelo showed me to cure the carinato to with the FMF. Then I should invite him to Peru 
and he made the first light nas surimi. It was a very hard work. He showed me this one. There was no end of those. Look at this. <coughs> it's a trick. He converts my hero, and he was my hero. He's born, Marcelo born. Then, his favorite family, very, very soft. Uh, Marcelo learned the tricks from Pablo, give your son. And I learned the tricks from Pablo, the boss. Thank you, Marcelo. Thank you very much. Uh, then, later, one year later, I went to the clinic and respondents where Jorge Godoy, George Godoy, he showed me to minimally invasive surgery. In that Las Contes clinic, I, I offered my speech. I congratulate Patricia Marello because there were 250 people here that the big Congress, the big symposium to take us in South Africa. Here is Patricia. He and his name is impress his love for Pectus. They call him Pato. Pato means duck in Spanish. <laughs> Pathology thoracic. It's because of it, his name is Pato. He loves pathology thoracic. He showed the truth personally to obey on us.
important. In this time, now we became it on. And Catorce Mil se sentino piso to his views. What did I learn? With Facebook, I learned to understand the voice pages. Those are if the wall photos, sad photos, very angry photos. So I have creatures, those are my, my own creatures. That I want is to improve his chest that not ugly scars. These people doesn't have an eye, and he wanted to prove his bread, his um, thorax, than his eyes. I tell you some someday to Pato, but I have a blind one. He told me, no, I have a blind, and he told me, I have a public blind. He touched his chest and felt different. Should I have to put a bar inside? And then, I have an autism, and another autism. One is Cavato, and one Cardinato. It was the, 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 the intervention. Uh, then, this is the brand of a Facebook fan, fan I should create later. I had to copyright because in mm, Lima, somebody wanted to use my two year, my one year work. So it's copyright now. Okay? <laughs> okay. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> 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 <laughs>